Water cycle in five steps. First step, explore. The water cycle is a water purification and distribution system that has continued for millions of years. It consists of four stages, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and collection. This magnificent system is designed to meet the water needs of plants, animals, and humans. Fascinating facts. Every day, the sun helps evaporate 1 trillion liters of water for living beings. As rainwater seeps into the ground, it collects beneficial minerals like calcium and magnesium. A medium-sized cloud can carry up to 200 tons of water. Water from the Pacific Ocean can fall on our noses as a raindrop. Second step, compare. Did you know that Singapore developed an artificial water cycle to overcome its water shortage? This system purifies sewage water through a five-stage process and returns it to homes as drinking water. Now, imagine a system capable of cleaning all the dirty water in the world. That is the water cycle system working for millions of years. That cycle in the air is even more incredible than the man-made water cycle on the ground because it is rebuilt every time. Imagine if clouds, like water pipes, were always suspended in the air. How ugly that would be. Third step, question. If you were to find out the Singaporean water recycling system in your house, would you say it just popped up on its own? What about the water cycle that covers the entire planet? Can it happen by itself? Can it be the work of deaf and blind nature? Do you think the sun, wind, and oceans without mind could plan something so perfect for us? Is it just a coincidence that seawater loses its salt when it falls as rain? Does river water acquire minerals by chance? Is it by luck that only 1% of all the water in the world becomes clean drinking water and falls as rain? The Singaporean system is indeed a great invention. The engineers who discovered it should be congratulated. But what about the earth-sized water cycle that has been running for millions of years? Can that cycle be without a master? Fourth step, connect. The sun, earth, moon, atmosphere, oceans, and gravity work like a team to purify water for us. They have neither mind nor emotion to help us. They need the help of the entire universe. Of course, helpless things cannot help others. Mindless beings cannot make something better than engineers. This means that the maker of the water cycle is the maker of the earth and all that lives on it. Indeed, the one who creates living beings from water must be the one who fulfills their need for water through the miraculous water cycle. What does the water cycle tell us about its maker? My maker is the life giver who creates living beings from simple water. He is all-knowing and all-powerful who creates the water cycle for living beings in connection with the universe. He is the most merciful and the most loving who gives them water for free out of his mercy and love. Fifth step, appreciate. Imagine if your water cycle suddenly stopped. No showers, no clean dishes, no cleaning. Life would become difficult. How about if the God-sustained water cycle became disrupted? Rivers would run dry, crops would fail without rain, animals and humans would die. Water is a precious gift for all living beings. For the gift of water distributed to us through the water cycle, we should do one. Dicker. Remember that only Allah can create water and water cycle. 2. Thicker. Reflect on the wonder of constantly renewing water purification and distribution cycle. 3. Shukr. Wholeheartedly thank Allah for meeting the water needs of countless living beings with the water cycle. Let's hear some character lessons from the water cycle. Purify your soul like evaporating water droplets. Be like clean water with your words and character. Help people in need without discrimination like rain. Let's now listen to the Qur'an. Have you considered the water you drink? Is it you who bring it down from the clouds or is it we who do so? If we willed, we could make it salty. Will you not then give thanks? Let's end our journey with a prayer. O oh Allah! Grant us a heart to thank without end for countless water droplets you have sent. This wonderful cycle is a gift from above, a sign of your mercy, kindness, and love.